Silverback Gorilla versus Orangutan. Who is the king of the great apes family? A silverback gorilla is the mature, experienced male leader of a group of mountain gorillas in the wild. Named for the silver saddles across his back, the silverback is responsible for the safety of his group. A group of gorillas, also called a troop, can contain from 5 to 30 gorillas. The silverback decides where the troop travels, where it forages for food, where it will rest, and where it will sleep at night. Orangutans are great apes, a classification that includes gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, and humans. They are the only great apes found in Asia. Orangutans are also the world's largest arboreal mammals, which means they are the largest mammals that have the capability to live in trees. Orangutans are endangered. They have become extinct in some parts of Asia. Most of their forest habitat in Borneo and Sumatra has been lost to make room for palm oil plantations. Size and Description Silverbacks are very large. When they stand upright, they are from 5.5 to 6 feet tall, 1.6 to 2 meters, and weigh as much as 350 pounds, 160 kilograms. Females typically are no taller than 5 feet, 1.5 meters, and weigh as much as 200 pounds, 90 kilograms. The silverback's ears look small for its head. Males have a large bony crest on the tops of their skulls and back, which helps support their jaw muscles and teeth. The bony crest gives their heads a conical shape. Females have the same crest as well, but it is not as pronounced as it is in males. Silverbacks also are very hairy. They are the hairiest of all gorilla species. Their hair is long and thick and helps to insulate them at high elevations. Silverbacks get their silver saddle at around 12 years old. Younger males who don't yet have the silver saddle are called blackbacks. Orangutans are covered in long, flowing red or orange fur, except for their distinct bare faces. Their arms are longer than their bowed legs, and their hands much like human hands. Because orangutans spend most of their time in trees, their long arms, fingers and toes are quite useful as they swing from branch to branch. An orangutan's arm span is longer than its height. A male's arm span can reach seven feet, two meters, from fingertip to fingertip. They also have larger cheek pads, called flanges, which form rigid half circles on the sides of their faces. An unflanged male can become a flanged male, but scientists are uncertain as to why or how. Both unflanged and flanged males can produce offspring. On average, orangutan females are around 3.75 feet (1.2 meters) tall, while males are around 4.5 feet (1.36 meters) tall. Females weigh an average of 81.5 pounds (37 kilograms), and males average around 191 pounds (87 kilograms). Range and Habitat Gorillas primarily inhabit tropical forest habitats. However, rainfall varies considerably in the tropics and is a primary factor as to the type of vegetation that grows in an area. The western lowland gorilla inhabits the tropical forests of Cameroon, Central African Republic, Gabon, Congo and Equatorial Guinea, West Africa. The Eastern Lowland Gorilla inhabits the tropical forests of Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Mountain Gorilla inhabits the high altitude, 1,650 to 3,790 meters, 5,413 
to 12,435 feet. Tropical forests of Zaire, Rwanda, and Uganda. Around the Virunga volcanoes. Orangutans are found in Indonesia on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. These apes were once widespread through mainland Asia during the Pleistocene. Orangutans prefer a habitat that exists along waterways and in lowlands because of their high dependence on fruit. Biologists have described their habitats as inaccessible, swamp-logged, leech-laden tropical forests. The islands of Borneo and Sumatra have vast mountain ranges and orangutans are rarely seen in elevations that exceed 500 meters. In Sumatra, orangutans are entirely arboreal because of large predators, such as tigers and leopards, patrol the forest floor. Borneo contains fewer large predators, so males will travel terrestrially and feed on the ground, but females will remain in the trees because of their smaller size. Diet In the wild, a gorilla's diet is similar to that of the chimpanzee. However, these gorillas eat larger fruits and mature leaves and stems. The gorilla's diet includes parts of at least 97 plant species, as well as invertebrates such as termites and ants. Adult male gorillas eat about 60 to 70 pounds, 25 to 30 kilograms, of food per day. Adult female gorillas eat about two-thirds of that amount. An orangutan will typically spend around half of its day finding food. They are mainly frugivores, which means that they generally prefer to eat forest fruits whenever they are available. When the forest is in low fruiting season, however, they'll increase the amount of leaves, barks, pits, and insects in their diets. As a species overall, orangutans are known to have eaten around 400 different plant species. This also helps to explain why they have also evolved such great intelligence as they commit to memory an incredibly detailed map of the forest and document where and when certain trees bear fruit during the year throughout their large home ranges. Behavior Despite their formidable size and strength, mountain gorillas are quite gentle and even shy. They are very social animals, but within their own tight-knit nomadic troops. They show each other affection often hugging and playing with each other, much like humans do. Also like humans, mountain gorillas laugh and even throw things when they get angry. Although they typically are peaceful, younger males from other troops may challenge a silverback. To ward off unwanted gorillas, the silverback will beat his chest with cupped hands, scream and bare his teeth, and charge at the intruder. Orangutans are generally placid and deliberate, and in captivity they have shown considerable ingenuity and persistence, particularly in manipulating mechanical objects. They have demonstrated cognitive abilities such as causal and logical reasoning, self-recognition in mirrors, deception, symbolic communication, foresight, and tool production and use. Adult males are the most solitary, engaging in threatening displays upon meeting other males. They share company with females only for reproductive purposes. Unusual in primates, orangutans are primarily solitary, live alone. Who would win in a fight, a gorilla or an orangutan? Both orangutans and gorillas are several times stronger pound for pound than humans. These two members of the great ape family live in totally different parts of the world and never cross paths in their natural environments. Therefore, since we really have no accurate way of answering this question, we have to guesstimate. Assuming it's an adult male gorilla versus an adult male orangutan, I've got to go with the gorilla. 
Orangutans are solitary, transient animals, which primarily use their long, powerful arms for locomotion. They don't usually fight, and they lack the large fangs and protruding jaws of the gorilla. Their bodies are also poorly proportioned for ground movement, and they prefer to avoid other animals than fight directly. Their climbing skill is much more effective than simply hitting predators. Gorillas, on the other hand, are social animals which establish dominance through non-lethal physical force. They could reasonably be compared to the football players of the animal world. Although their games don't typically cause lasting harm, they're no strangers to physical contact. Their bodies are vastly better proportioned for ground movement and fighting. An adult male gorilla will also have a size advantage over an orangutan. They're simply better built for fighting. Gorilla vs. Tiger Who would win an epic showdown between these two animals? Let's imagine two of the most fearsome beasts ever, the tiger and a silverback gorilla, going head to head. That would be one of the most intense battles in Animal Kingdom, right? Both the gorilla and the tiger are large animals and are strong enough to give a bloody nose to any potential enemy. So, what happens in a fight between the strongest of the big cats, the tiger, and the strongest of the primates, the gorilla? The eastern lowland gorilla, also known as Grower's gorilla, is the largest of the four gorilla subspecies. It is distinguished from other gorillas by its stocky body, large hands, and short muzzle. One of the most wondrous and iconic animals to walk the earth, the Bengal tiger, also known as the Royal Bengal tiger or the Indian tiger, is the subspecies with the largest population. It is the national animal of India, the place where its image is part of the traditions and the culture. How do they hunt and what do they eat? Eastern lowland gorillas are omnivores enjoying both a plant-based and an insect-based diet. They mostly eat fruits, but also consume berries, leaves, and nuts. As for insects, the eastern lowland gorilla prefers termites and ants. Occasionally, these gorillas go after small rodents or lizards. They have been known to travel great distances in search of food. Their powerful jaws allow them to eat fibrous and tough vegetation. Adult gorillas need to eat about 18 kilograms or about 40 pounds of food per day. Bengal tiger's favorite meat comes from large, hooved mammals, including chital, gawa, and sambar. But they'll also prey on barasinga, water buffalo, wild boar, hog deer, leopards, wolves, or crocodiles. Increasing evidence also suggests that these tigers will coordinate attacks against rhinoceros and elephants. Bengal tigers kill their prey by overpowering their victim and severing the spinal cord, the preferred method for smaller prey or applying a suffocation bite of the throat for large prey. What are their dimensions? What do they look like? These gorillas are massive, as they are the largest species of primate on Earth. Male Grower's gorillas are typically larger than females, and the species clocks in at about 450 to 500 pounds. 204 to 226 kilograms, but there have also been cases where it has reached 550 pounds, 250 kilograms. These gorillas can be 5 to 6 feet tall, 1.5 to 1.82 meters. They have large heads in comparison to the rest of their bodies, as well as strong jaws and teeth. Like other gorillas, they have a thick coat of dark fur, save for their faces and hands. 
They prefer to walk around on their knuckles. For added protection and warmth, gorillas have a thick layer of dermis and epidermis, or inner and outer layers of skin. Compared to the other eastern gorilla subspecies, the eastern lowland gorilla has shorter hair and teeth and longer arms. The morphology of the Bengal tiger is beautiful and imposing. It is a mammal with thick legs, strong teeth and jaws, and a coat with a characteristic coloration pattern. In this regard, its skin shows a yellow to light orange color that in the belly and the internal areas of the legs becomes white or cream. Black, gray, or brown stripes run vertically down all its body before the tail, where they become rings. Males have a length of 8.8 .8 to 10.2, 2.7 to 3.1 meters, feet, including the tail. Only the tail is between 33 and 43 inches long, 83 to 110 centimeters. The weight of males can range between 400 to 550 pounds, 181 to 250 kilograms. How do they behave in the wild? Gorillas are social animals, and the eastern lowland gorilla is no exception. The distribution of gorillas is in tight-knit family groups called troops or bands. These troops travel, feed, and raise their young together. The troops are led by a large male gorilla called a silverback. They also contain two or three female gorillas and their young, and can also include a few subordinate male gorillas. Though the troops are usually small, researchers have recorded groups as large as 30 individuals. Rarely, there are two silverback leaders in a group. The primary traveling unit of these tigers is a mother and her offspring. Besides the early development period, which lasts about two to three years, Bengal tigers are solitary creatures. On rare occasions, a group of tigers will converge in the same area, usually because of a plentiful food source. When such gatherings happen, the group of tigers is called an ambush or streak. These tigers, like nearly all other tiger species, have home territories that they rarely leave. When children go out on their own, females typically stick close to their mother's area. During their first year living alone, adolescent cubs visit their mother's territories, females more often than males. Where does each of them live? Can they meet? No, these two animals cannot meet in the wild because they live on different continents. The only place they can have a fight would be in a zoo. This species of gorilla lives in the eastern region of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. They thrive in the tropical lowlands and rainforests. Their range has decreased drastically in the last few decades. The distribution of gorillas is also much more sparse because of habitat fragmentation. They used to inhabit a range of about 8,100 square miles. They now inhabit around 4,600 square miles. Many national parks cover eastern lowland gorilla habitats, such as the Kahuzi Bega National Park and the Mako National Park. Data suggests that eastern lowland gorillas occupy only 13% of their former geographic range. Generally speaking, Bengals live in tropical, subtropical, and temperate forests with access to water. Altitude-wise, they typically stay between 660 and 9,800 feet above sea level. However, that may be changing. Today, these tigers live in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. In India, they stick to tropical forests, subtropical deciduous forests, certain grasslands, and mangroves. Bangladesh has seen a thinning of the tiger population. The animals are now only found in the Sundarbans, which are mangrove forests, and the Chittagong hill tracts. Nepal is home to three small and isolated tiger populations, 
in Chitwan National Park, Pasa National Park, and Berdia National Park. In Bhutan, Bengals live in 17 of the country's 18 districts. Now let's find out together who will win a fight. A silverback growers gorilla or a Bengal tiger? The Bengal tiger and the silverback gorilla are both kings of their own habitats. They are huge in size, strong as well as smart animals. Although their size is about the same, it is possible for the tiger to grow even larger. But let's establish from the beginning that these are two individuals of equal weight because this is not impossible. The gorilla is also a strong competitor and can challenge the big cats whenever needed. If a tiger attacks a gorilla, the gorilla is not a safe and easy target and can inflict potentially lethal blows on the tiger. These large primates can lift over 10 times their body weight. In a fight between a tiger and a gorilla, a gorilla has the advantage of its strong chest, strong and lengthy arms, and enormous weightlifting ability. Their huge and powerful arms can deliver a knockout blow and can break the backbone. In addition, their thick hide and long hairs can be helpful in their defense. The tiger has the advantage of its speed, lengthy, strong claws, and enormous canine teeth, and it has better maneuverability. A gorilla has an incredible bite force of 1300 PSI. The tiger is close behind with a bite force of 1050 PSI. But at the same time, tiger canines are about 0.5 to 1 inches longer, 1.25 to 2.5 centimeters. The tiger also has the advantage of a muscular body and thick fur. The strong-willed, tenacious gorilla will nevertheless be able to put up a strong and determined fight and inflict severe injuries on the tiger. The thick neck of the gorilla can avoid an easy victory for the tiger. The only serious chance for a gorilla to defeat a tiger could be to strike its backbone with its massive arm but this will be very difficult to achieve due to the agility of the tiger. The biggest disadvantage of the gorilla in front of a tiger is that it has no experience of a hunter. So in this fight, I will let you decide who is the winner. Grizzly Bear versus Western Gorilla If a gorilla and a grizzly bear were to fight to the death, which one would win? Let's compare these two animals. Gorillas are large apes that are native to Africa. They are typically divided into two groups. The mountain gorilla lives in the mountainous regions of Central Africa, while the lowland gorilla lives in the flat, dense forests of Central and Western Africa. The grizzly bear is a subspecies of the brown bear. These huge animals originate from Europe and Asia, but today they can be found only in North America and Canada. Size and Description The Western Gorilla is the species with more individuals in the wild. There are two subspecies, the Western Lowland Gorilla and the Cross River Gorilla. This species has large, burly individuals. The average male height is 1.55 meters and females are on average 1.35 meters. Their weight is on average 80 kilos in females and 157 kilos in males, estimation based on captive individuals. Their muzzle is short, with strong muscles in the jaw area. A dark fur covers most of their body. Individuals of the species Gorilla Gorilla show a clearer tone than their eastern relatives who can show brown or even slightly reddish coat. On the other hand, most adult female grizzlies weigh 130 to 180 kilograms, while adult males weigh on average 180 to 360 kilograms. Average total length in this subspecies is 198 centimeters. 
Grizzly bears have concave faces, a distinctive hump on their shoulders, and long claws about two to four inches long. Both the hump and the claws are traits associated with the grizzly bear's exceptional digging ability. Grizzlies are often dark brown, but can vary from very light cream to black. The long guard hairs on their backs and shoulders frequently have white tips and give the bears a grizzled appearance, hence the name grizzly. Habitat and Range A few years ago, the Western Gorilla distribution was almost in an uninterrupted territory, but at present there are small and isolated populations and they have become extinct in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This species still resides in Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, Angola, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Congo, and Gabon. The western lowland gorilla lives in areas of Cameroon, Congo, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, and the Central African Republic. It inhabits south of the Sanaga River, the estuary of the Congo River, continuing east until the Ubangi River. The Cross River Gorilla has a limited distribution, as it only inhabits a small area between Nigeria and Cameroon. They dwell mainly in lowland tropical forests, swamp forests, and primary and secondary forests. Grizzly bears are found in many different habitats, from dense forests to subalpine meadows, open plains, and arctic tundra. In North America, grizzly bears are found in western Canada, Alaska, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and a potentially small population in Washington. Historically, they could be found from Alaska to Mexico and from California to Ohio. Diet Every day these gorillas travel between one and four kilometers to find fruit trees. Gorillas are mainly herbivores. Western gorillas feed on leaves, buds, and especially fruit. The availability of these varies throughout the year, so its consumption may also change. Occasionally they catch ants, termites, worms, grubs, and caterpillars. When the fruit is scarce, they are forced to eat leaves, woody vegetation, bark, and low-quality herbs. Grizzly bears are omnivores, and their diet can vary widely. They may eat seeds, berries, roots, grasses, fungi, deer, elk, fish, dead animals, and insects. In the late summer and early fall, grizzlies enter hyperphagia, a period of two to four months when they intensify their calorie intake to put on weight for winter denning. During this time period, they can gain more than three pounds a day. Reproduction It is a polygamous species, like all gorillas. Females can start having offspring when they are eight or nine years old, although the average sexual maturity age is 10 years. The dominant male or leader is the only one that can mate with the females of their group, and this can happen during any time of the year since there is no specific breeding season. The gestation period is about 8.5 months, and usually only one infant is born, weighing roughly two kilograms. Mothers nurse their young for three or four years, and they transport and take care of them. The males hardly interact with the infants. Many babies die. If the female delivers twins, she allows one to die, because it is hard to take care and transport both. Their life expectancy in the wild is up to 40 years. Grizzly bears are one of the slowest reproducing land mammals. Females do not typically reproduce, until they are four or five years old. Grizzly bears mate between May and July, but the female's body delays implantation of their eggs in the uterus until October or November. Mother bears rear cubs for two to three years. Males do not help raise the cubs. In fact, males can be a danger to the cubs, so females often avoid male grizzly bears while rearing their cubs. Behavior 
The Western gorilla lives in groups of two to twenty individuals, with a leader, which is a silverback male, with the responsibility to defend the females in the group and their offspring. Their life is peaceful, with few aggressive incidents. In the case of danger, the silverback male makes a threatening display for intimidating the intruder. Therefore, he stands on two legs, makes loud vocalizations, and beats his chest with both hands. They are diurnal and relatively sedentary because they do not perform migrations, although they travel together for months and years in search of food. Therefore, they are not territorial. Grizzly bears are normally solitary animals. However, they are not very territorial and they may be seen feeding together where food is abundant, such as at salmon streams and white bark pine sites. Females will rear their cubs for two to three years. When a female grizzly bear leaves her mother, they often set up their home range quite close to their mother's home range. Males will typically range further, but may also remain close by. Grizzly bears need to eat a lot in the summer and fall in order to build up sufficient fat reserves to survive the winter denning period. The Duel Between Grizzly Bear versus Gorilla Western gorillas and grizzly bears live in totally different geographical and climatic conditions. That, however, doesn't mean that they cannot engage in a vigorous fight. If they were ever brought to the same battlefield, they will put up a strong fight that may be fatal to one of them. The grizzly bear is a strong animal that is known to kill even humans. It has strong canine teeth that tear their prey's flesh. Western gorillas, on the other hand, are very flexible, fast, and can climb up a tree within seconds. This means a gorilla can strategically place itself in a position that gives it an advantage during the fight. The Western Gorilla will be able to rely on its speed and flexibility to strike and hit the bear from any direction. The bear, on the other hand, is so strong that it can easily crush the gorilla if it captures it. A war between the two will be a fierce one that includes cat and mouse chases. Western Gorillas are also more intelligent than grizzly bears. This means they can easily monitor the bears and know when, how, and where to strike. It is hard to predict the outcome of a duel between these two animals. Each one of them has equal chances of winning the match. The loser will most likely come out dead. Who would win a fight between a chimpanzee and a gorilla? Although they inhabit some of the same areas, there have not been many observations of the two species interacting. On the rare occasions that they come within sight of each other, they seem to avoid coming too close. Chimpanzees are very familiar to us humans, perhaps because so much of their behavior reminds us of ourselves. They are considered great apes, just like gorillas, orangutans, and bonobos. Their distinctive mode of travel, walking on the sole of each foot and the knuckles of their hands, have earned them the title of knuckle walkers. Gorillas are peaceful, family-oriented, plant-eating animals that live in complex social groups. They are the largest of all primates. Although they are able to stand upright, gorillas prefer to walk using their hands as well as their legs. Like all great apes, gorillas require rainforests to make their living, and the forest depends upon them too. Size and Description Chimpanzees vary considerably in size and appearance, but chimpanzees stand approximately 3 to 5.5 feet, 1 to 1.7 meters tall, when they stand and weigh about 70 to 130 pounds, 32 to 60 kilograms. Males tend to be larger and more robust than females. Chimpanzees are covered by a coat of brown or black hair, but their faces are bare except for a short white beard. Skin color is generally white except for the face, hands, and feet, which are black. 
The faces of younger animals may be pinkish or whitish. Among older males and females, the forehead often becomes bald and the back becomes grey. Gorillas are quite large and adult males can measure nearly 6 feet tall, 1.8 meters. Their arm span is an impressive 7 to 8 feet across, 2.1 to 2.4 meters. Males weigh between 300 and 430 pounds, 136 to 195 kilograms, while females weigh between 150 and 250 pounds, 68 to 113 kilograms. They have thick black fur across their bodies, save for their faces, the palms of their hands, and the bottoms of their feet. The subspecies that live in mountainous regions have even thicker fur than their counterparts. The western gorilla is a massive primate species, with a short muzzle, proportionately large hands, and the projecting brow ridge. They lack tails, having small ears and eyes, large nostrils, and jet black skin. They have quite a large thumb and nails on all digits. They have large muscles on their jaws, as well as strong, broad teeth. Older male gorillas are called silverbacks due to the hair on their back and rump, which is originally grey, loosing with age. Range and Habitat The chimpanzee lives throughout various regions of eastern and central Africa. Each subspecies has a different range. The western subspecies ranges from southern Senegal to western Ghana. Unsurprisingly, the Nigeria Cameroon subspecies inhabits portions of Nigeria and Cameroon. The central subspecies lives from southern Cameroon to the western tip of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Finally, the eastern subspecies primarily lives in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Central African Republic. These primates live in a variety of different ecosystems. The different subspecies prefer different habitat types. Some inhabit tropical rainforests or scrub forests. Others live in savannas, grasslands, woodlands or chaparral. Many also live in mountainous regions, up to 9,000 feet elevation. The different species and subspecies of gorillas have different ranges. The western gorilla lives in the forests of western Africa and is more widespread than the eastern gorilla. Western gorillas live primarily in Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Congo and Cameroon. Eastern gorillas live in a small range in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Some species or subspecies live in dense forests, others in swamps. Many species live in mountainous regions, and some even live up to 13,000 feet above sea level. Some of their preferred habitats are bamboo forests, lowland swamps, mountain forests, lowland forests, and more. Though they live in forests and can climb well, gorillas spend much of their time on the ground. Diet Chimpanzees eat a wide variety of food. Observers have recorded about 80 different items wild chimps eat, including seeds, fruit, leaves, bark, honey, flowers and insects. This makes up most of their diet. However, chimpanzees also hunt other animals, like monkeys or small antelope, for meat. Feeding is usually an individual activity, but sometimes chimps look for food together. Gorillas are primarily herbivores, which means that they eat plants. The vast majority of their diet contains leaves, shoots, stems, and other plant parts. They do eat fruit, but it does not make up a large portion of their diet. The exact plants eaten vary by season, species and region. Outside plants, gorillas also occasionally eat ants, termites and some other insects. The plants they eat contain lots of moisture, 
so they rarely drink water. Behavior Chimpanzees are very sociable animals, active during daylight hours and spending their time feeding, grooming and playing with the members of their group. The size of a group can range from 15 to 120, depending on the habitats and how much food is available. They are very territorial, with no tolerance for outsiders, and can even kill an individual from another group. At night, chimpanzees make nests in trees by bending branches to construct a safe platform where they can sleep, building a new nest each day. Although a lot of time is spent sleeping and eating up in the trees, usually they travel on the ground along a network of paths, balancing on their knuckles. These primates are highly social animals, gathering in groups of 5 to 15 individuals. A group usually consists of females with their young and one dominant male. They get around by walking on their four limbs. Western gorillas are active by day. They construct day and night nests where they rest and sleep. Their nests are soft cushions built on the ground or in trees out of branches and leaves. Lightweight gorillas tend to hang out of tree branches using their arms. Normally these animals are quite peaceful, friendly and shy. However, they emit loud growling sounds and can be extremely dangerous when threatened or attacked. In order to scare away intruders or demonstrate their strength, male gorillas stand straight, beating their chests with their fists. Now let's see who will win a fight between these two great apes. Neither species is smart enough to use weapons though chimps do use tools and even make tools. Gorillas, although bigger and much stronger, they aren't lunatics. They don't actively hunt any other animals or really kill for the most part. Most of their day consists of eating leaves and stalks and sleeping. Gorilla males will fight for dominance, but it will usually end with one of them leaving the group rather than trying to kill each other. Gorillas aren't known for their aggression like chimpanzees are, but they are far larger, stronger, and possess bigger and better teeth. While the strength of a gorilla isn't fully known, it's far more than enough to kill a chimp. Chimpanzees are muscular bundles of raging testosterone, and when they attack, they not only are five times the strength of an adult human, but they will also bite with a fierce set of canines that can exert 20 times more force when biting than a human jaw can. A chimp could perhaps cause some harm to a gorilla, as they very well could due to possessing their own strength and having a strong bite of their own, but it's improbable for a chimp to kill a gorilla. The gorilla is ultimately bigger and far more powerful. In my opinion, a chimpanzee can't successfully fight a gorilla. A gorilla is generally much calmer, but will kill a chimpanzee with a single punch. Instead, chimpanzees are much more aggressive. In Congo and Uganda, some groups overlap in smaller scales. When gorillas appear in chimpanzee grazing areas, chimps scatter away. Lion versus Gorilla who would win this fight in the wilds of Africa? The king of the jungle or the dangerous gorilla? An African lion and a gorilla have approximately the same weight at their adult age, but their ways of living and their behavior is very different from each other. Unlike some animal rivals, this tough pairing doesn't have an obvious outcome. Both the lion and the gorilla have their share of strengths, each of which is unique. Lions are commonly known as the kings of the jungle. People around the world consider the symbol of lions as the sign of strength and power. They are the world's second largest cat after the tiger. They are the social cats 
and live together in groups called prides. The characteristic silver hairs on the backs of some mountain gorillas indicate they are adult males. As extremely powerful, silverback gorillas live mostly in the jungles that surround African mountain ranges. To sustain a body that size, silverback gorillas need to eat a lot of food every day and make sure they get all the right nutrients into their systems. Size and Description The lion is the only cat exhibiting sexual dimorphism, which means that male and female lions look different from each other. Males are larger than females. A lion's body ranges in length from 4.5 to 6.5 feet, 1.7 to 2 meters, with a 26 to 40 inch tail, 0.6 to 1 meter. Weight runs between 265 to 420 pounds, 120 to 190 kilograms. Lion cubs have dark spots on their coat when they are born, which fade until only faint belly spots remain in adulthood. Adult lions range in color from buff to gray to various shades of brown. Both males and females are powerful, muscular cats with rounded heads and ears. Only adult male lions display a brown, rust or black mane, which extends down the neck and chest. Only males have dark tail tufts, which conceal tailbone spurs in some specimens. Silverbacks are very large. When they stand upright, they are from 5.5 to 6 feet tall, 1.7 to 1.9 meters, and weigh as much as 350 pounds, 160 kilograms. The silverback's ears look small for its head. Males have a large bony crest on the tops of their skulls and back, which helps support their jaw muscles and teeth. The bony crest gives their heads a conical shape. Females have the same crest as well, but it is not as pronounced as it is in males. Silverbacks are also very hairy. They are the hairiest of all gorilla species. Their hair is long and thick and helps to insulate them at high elevations. Silverbacks get their silver saddle at around 12 years old. Younger males who don't yet have the silver saddle are called blackbacks. Range and Habitat African lions have a number of subspecies separated by large, lionless expanses. Historically, lions could be found across the vast majority of Africa, but their current range has been restricted to a smattering of locations in Central and Southern Africa. Outside of Africa, lions used to be found from Greece all the way to India. Humans slowly decimated these populations over the centuries. Currently, only a small population of the Asiatic lion subspecies can be found in the Gear Forest National Park in western India. Lions prefer grassland and savanna habitats in close proximity to water sources, such as rivers. They also prefer hunting in open areas rather than densely packed forest. Lions are absent from all rainforest habitats in their range. Western or lowland gorillas inhabit the forests of equatorial Africa from the western lowlands near the Cameroon coast through the Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Nigeria, Republic of Congo, Angola, and possibly the Democratic Republic of Congo. Africa's tropical secondary forests, where the open canopy allows much light to reach the forest floor, provide the best habitat for western gorillas. Diet Lions are carnivores, which means they eat meat. In the wild, lion's prey usually consists of wildebeest, zebra, and various ungulates like giraffes, buffalo, and gazelles. Occasionally, lions will hunt young elephants, rhinoceros, or hippopotamus. 
Lions also scavenge food, chasing away hyenas and other carnivores from their kills. Lions are known to be opportunist feeders and will also eat rodents, small birds, hares and reptiles. A lion chasing its prey can run the length of a football pitch in six seconds. Lion's eyes have a horizontal streak of nerve cells which watch their prey carefully across the plains. Gorillas are primarily vegetarians and feed along the edges of dense forests. However, they do eat whatever insects and small animals are on the leaves and stems they consume. Gorillas also will eat crops and rotting wood. Silverbacks consume 45 pounds of food every day. Behavior Lions are primarily nocturnal or crepuscular. Lions spend much of their time resting, often up to 20 hours per day. During periods of rest, lions have many opportunities for social behavior. They gather and sleep in groups, rubbing their heads together and playing. Life in a group allows lions to hunt for food together. Female lions of a pride may spread out around potential prey to attack it from many directions. Despite their tremendous power and adaptive efficiency, lions are more likely to fail than succeed in their attempts to kill. Mountain gorillas are highly social animals who live in family groups, referred to as troops, led and protected by a dominant silverback. Three to four sexually mature females, one or two younger male gorillas, and three to six juveniles and infants form this cohesive family. Subordinate silverbacks might also be part of a troop. They are most often the younger brothers or adult sons of the dominant silverback. A large mountain gorilla troop can exceed 20 individuals. Now let's see finally who would win a fight between a lion and a silverback gorilla? The gorilla's large canines are designed not for flesh, but for intimidation, and they still pale in comparison to the predatory teeth of its opponent, the male lion. The silverback gorilla's arms are extremely strong, and even if it doesn't have lion-like claws, they have the ability to use makeshift weapons using the trees and rocks around them. Should a lion dare to attack a silverback head-on, he can use his powerful throwing force to land a serious and possibly fatal blow. Unlike the silverback gorilla, the lion is a predator by nature. While they may not share the same level of intelligence, the lion wields a body built for hunting. The lion's fearsome claws can also rake wounds into the gorilla, even as it struggles against the lion's jaws. The lion, despite its predatorial strengths, leans upon an assassin's technique. Due to his low stamina, he depends heavily upon a stealthy approach in order to take down his foe in a single strike. Finally, I believe the odds are in the gorilla's favor. If the lion can get in close enough and score an accurate bite, he could end the fight before it even begins. However, a gorilla is a mighty foe with more stamina and fearsome strength. Its will to fight will last much longer than a male lion's, and if it gets its hand upon a solid branch, it can put a beating on its feline combatant. So long as the silverback manages to evade a lion's bite and its scratches remain superficial, he can use his powerful punches and throws to score a hit that will lay the lion low. Gorilla vs. Jaguar Who would emerge, would emerge victorious from a, from a fight, fight between, between these two, two animals? animals? Gorillas and jaguars are some of the fiercest animals that exist today. Gorillas are huge and muscular, Jaguars are sleek and bloodthirsty. However, since gorillas live in Africa and jaguars in Central and South America, these two animals cannot interact in the wild. Gorillas are large apes that are native to Africa, 
Usually they are divided into two groups. The lowland gorilla lives in the flat, dense forests of Central and Western Africa, whereas the mountain gorilla inhabits the mountainous regions of Central Africa. After the lion and the tiger, the jaguar is the largest big cat in the Americas and the third largest in the world. Many pre-Columbian South American cultures lauded these strong cats as divinities and pictures of them can be found in pre-Columbian art and archaeology from all over the jaguar's range. Size and description The gorilla has a black coat. All of the body's hair is short, thin and grey to brown-black with the exception of the face. The back of mature silverback males is covered in a saddle of white hair. Western lowland gorillas have smaller-looking ears relative to their heads and a more pronounced brow ridge than other subspecies. The prominent bony crests on the top and back of the adult male gorilla's skull give the animal's head a conical appearance. These crests serve as anchors for the enormous muscles that support and move their massive jaws and teeth. Males are much larger than females. Adult males typically weigh 300 pounds, 136.1 kilograms, but they can weigh up to 500 pounds, 226.8 kilograms. They can reach heights of up to 6 feet, 1.8 meters. Both leopards and jaguars have spotted coats, but the jaguar's rosettes, which are often small dots, are fewer and larger. Compared to leopards, jaguars are shorter and stockier. The majority of jaguars have white bellies and golden to reddish-brown spotted coats. However, 6% of all South American cats are melanistic jaguars, or black panthers. It also has a compact body, a wide head, and powerful jaws. Although male and female jaguars look similar, females are typically 10 to 20% smaller than males. From head to flank, these cats range in length from 4 to 6 feet, 1 to 2 meters. The tail can add another 2 feet, 60 centimeters in length. Males can weigh from 126 to 250 pounds. 57 to 113 kilograms. Range and habitat. Western lowland gorillas are widely dispersed throughout the Congo Basin and have, and been, have been found, found in Gabon, Gabon Central, Central, Central African, African Republic, Republic, Cameroon, Angola, Equatorial Guinea, and Congo. Though historically present in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, they are probably extinct there at this time. Gorillas spend the majority of their time on the ground due to their enormous size. The former range of the jaguar included Argentina and the Grand Canyon in the United States, as well as possibly Colorado. There may still be a few of the cats in Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico, but there are only significant populations in Mexico, Central America, and South America. In the Ka'an Biosphere Reserve in Mexico, the Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary in Belize, the Manu National Park in Peru, and the Xingu National Park in Brazil, the cat is protected and is thought to have a good chance of surviving. Although they thrive in forested areas close to water, jaguars can also be found in the shrubland, wetlands, grasslands, and savanna biomes. Diet Living in the forest is like choosing to stay in a huge restaurant because a gorilla consumes almost entirely plant material, and eating is a favorite activity for gorillas. Up to 40 pounds, 18 kilograms of food, are consumed daily by an adult male. The gorilla's powerful jaws allow it to chew tough stems. Unlike chimpanzees, gorillas don't use tools to get those termites. Instead, they just smash the termite mound to get the tasty insects living inside. Jaguars will pursue nearly any kind of animal within their range as prey, with capybaras and peccaries being their favorites. Fish, tapirs, and caiman are additional food options. Jaguars differ from all the other cats in their method of killing. Once they have their prey in their grips, they use their canines to pierce the skulls 
showing the incredible strength of their strong jaws. Behavior Western lowland gorillas typically live in groups of five or fewer. Groups are generally composed of a silverback male, one or more blackback males, several adult females, and their infant and juvenile offspring. A female may switch family units several times over the course of her lifetime. The group is led by an adult, dominant silverback male. Although he occasionally permits other sub-adult males in the group to mate with females, he has exclusive breeding rights to the females. The silverback decides the group's home range and mediates disputes. He controls when they eat, get up, and go to bed. The western lowland gorilla is a non-aggressive, docile animal. The jaguar is a solitary creature, aside from during the first couple of years, spent with their mother. Jaguar males are very territorial, with their home range overlapping that of several females, but being prepared to defend it fiercely from other males. They are dependent on water, particularly during the dry season, seeking relief from the heat. They are very good swimmers and are very fast when moving through the water, especially when pursuing their prey. Near dusk and dawn, Jaguars are most active, tending to rest during the mid-morning and afternoon. Now it's time for the fight. Gorilla versus Jaguar. Who would win? Gorillas are the largest living primates. Jaguars are the largest cat species after tigers and lions, and the largest cats in the Americas. In general, gorillas are larger by at least 50%, if not double. Gorillas can run at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour while moving on all fours. Jaguars are renowned for their lightning-quick acceleration to speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. Jaguars are fast animals and skilled climbers and have the upper hand because of their quicker movements, superior agility, and superior swimming skills. Unexpectedly, a gorilla has one of the world's strongest bites. 1,300 pounds per square inch of biting force can be generated by its powerful jaw muscles. Jaguars can bite with a force of about 1,500 psi. Jaguar teeth are so strong that they can pierce both the hard shells of turtles and the thick scales of crocodilians. Jaguars also possess sharp, retractable, and up to two inch long weapons. Each of these two has a unique survival mechanism. Perhaps a gorilla has a slight advantage over a jaguar due to its immense size. A gorilla's primary offensive weapon is brute force. In fact, a silverback gorilla managed to lift 1,800 pounds of weight according to the Guinness Book of Records. A gorilla punch has a force range of 1,200 to 2,500 pounds. A gorilla will use its hands, legs, and teeth when defending itself. It will often use some tools like sticks to give it an advantage. A gorilla will charge at its enemy, grab its limbs, and crush them. It will also use its sharp canine teeth to bite and penetrate the flesh of another animal. Like other big cats, jaguars prefer to stalk and ambush their prey rather than chasing it. Attacking from nearby cover, they will quickly pounce from a target's blind spot and kill it with a bite to the neck. They can kill their prey by piercing the skull with their sharp teeth due to their strong jaw muscles. In a face-to-face -face fight, a gorilla should be able to take down a jaguar. Jaguars are fast and have razor-sharp claws, but gorillas have superhuman strength and they would snap the jaguar in half. A jaguar's only chance is if it ambushes a gorilla from behind and manages to get lucky with a bite to the head or neck. However, a large and healthy eastern lowland gorilla would use its superior strength, reach, grappling ability and size, and defeat a healthy male Pantanal jaguar in a straight-up fight. This does not appear to suggest that the jaguar would be completely outmatched in this contest. The jaguar would fight back and leave the gorilla with scars. Jaguars hunt other animals as predators but they have never faced off against a large primate like a gorilla. 
On the other hand, gorillas occasionally engage in combat with leopards, which are slightly smaller cats than jaguars. This gives gorillas some first-hand experience with a dangerous predator that resembles a jaguar. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.